right now we open GPower analysis software. First, you choose test family here to be F test. And for statistical tests, you choose a linear multiple regression fixed model R square deviation from zero here. And for the type power analysis, of course, because you want to compute the curve sample size, so you choose a priority here. And for the FX size, F square is based on Cohen. You can see here there are small, medium, large FX sizes, but actually it should be based on previous study FX size. So let's say from previous study, you, you have 0 0.18. And for the alpha error, of course, 0 0.05. And the power, usually we choose 80% of power. And number of predictors, it should be based on your conceptual framework right now. Let's say in your conceptual framework, you have six number of predictors or six factors. And based on these calculations, how many sample size that you need. So 83 total sample size with actual power 80%. So let's say in the FX size from previous studies, you just only have small FX size, only 0 0.05. And the number of predictors in your study, six. So how many sample size? 279. And I make it small FX size, let's say from previous study to be like two, 0 0.02. And then how many sample size? 688. And let's say for the FX size is quite large. I'm gonna choose 34. And how many sample size? 47. So the smaller FX size that you find in previous studies, so you're gonna have the bigger sample size. But if you have the large FX size from previous study, you just only have a small sample size. So it depends on your FX size. Okay, so maybe just that's all. Thank you guys for watching.